Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing absolutely amazing today. If you've been here for a while, then you know when we start a video without any makeup on, it is typically because we are gonna be talking skincare. And today's video is gonna be all about my skincare routine to get rid of acne in 90 days or three months. Many of y'all might already know that I have struggled with acne for over 20 years of my life. And in 2021 to 2022, I decided to finally take Accutane and it completely cleared my skin. However, last year at the end of 2022, my skin relapsed and I started getting active breakouts, probably a new pimple every day or every other day. It was really, really bad. And that was brought on for two reasons. The first reason was really just because I started my weight gain journey, my workout journey, my just overall health journey. And a part of that was taking whey protein. So I was taking like two to three whey protein shakes every single day, which completely imbalanced my hormones and started to make me break out. But also in addition to that, I just was not on a solid skincare routine. I thought that coming off of Accutane meant that like I could use a gentle cleanser, a gentle moisturizer and be done. I literally thought I didn't need to do anything to my skin, which, was like just completely wrong. So back in March of this year, I posted a video talking all about my relapse, all about how my skin had been breaking out and also showing y'all a little bit of the skincare regimen that my dermatologist had put me on. And here we are today and my skin is 99% back clear and I am so happy because y'all know, when I posted that video, I was so discouraged, I was so sad, I was so distraught. I honestly thought that I was gonna have to take action Accutane again, but thank God I have a dermatologist who understands my skin and was able to get my skin back clear without me having to go on a second course of Accutane. So in today's video, I'm gonna show y'all the skincare routine that my dermatologist put me on to clear my skin in no lie, 90 days. And that is still the skincare regimen that I use to this day. And honestly, the skincare regimen that I will continue to use for the foreseeable future until I can't use it anymore. As always with all my skincare videos, I just wanna throw out a couple caveats here because skincare does vary from person to person. First and foremost, I am not a professional. I am not a licensed esthetician. I'm not a licensed dermatologist. All I know is my skin and I barely know that. I trust my professionals, I lean on my professionals and I advise y'all to do the same thing. My recommendation is that when it comes to anything health related and yes, skin, especially when you have acne and struggle with acne, it is health related. Go to your professionals, see your professionals, whether it's a licensed dermatologist, esthetician, holistic doctor, whoever it is that you trust, I recommend going to see them so that they can physically see your skin and physically let you know what it is that you personally need. Second caveat here is that in addition to the skincare routine that you all will see in a couple seconds, my dermatologist did also put me on spironolactone. I've taken spironolactone in the past and it worked wonders for me, but then it stopped working, which is why I had to take Accutane. That's a whole long story. If you're interested in knowing more about that, check out my skincare playlist. But essentially, she had me go back on spironolactone earlier this year because my relapse was brought on by a hormonal imbalance due to the whey protein. So essentially, we use Spiro, which is an oral medication to rebalance my hormones and get my hormones back into a place where I wasn't constantly getting hormonal acne breakouts. I started out with about 25 or 50 50 milligrams a day. To be completely honest, I can't remember because it was so long ago. And then she did move me up to about 100 or 200 milligrams a day. Again, it was a while ago. I can't quite remember what the dosages were, but we did start out with like a lower dosage for the first month. That didn't quite work, so we had to bump it up a bit. But around the 90 day mark of me being on spironolactone and also using my topical skincare regimen, my acne breakouts had completely subsided. So I took the Spiro for about another month or so. However, I started getting really irregular cycles. I started spotting and honestly, I just really didn't wanna be on it anymore. So I made the personal decision to stop taking it. However, I have not talked to my dermatologist about the fact that I have stopped taking it 
but she really said I only needed to be on it for a couple months anyway and then we'd come off of it and see how my skin does. So I just went ahead and stopped taking it and my skin has been perfectly clear, perfectly fine without it. And that's really it. I know that was a long spiel, but I like to be as detailed and as honest and transparent as I can when it comes to skincare. So without further ado, let's get into my skincare routine. Good morning. Welcome to my bathroom. Let's get into my morning skincare routine. First things first, I always like to just wash my hands before I get started. I've already washed them, so I'm not gonna do that on camera, but I do like to wash my hands before I get into my skincare routine, just because there can be bacteria on my hands, germs on my hands, and if, especially if your skin is acne prone, really just anyways, but especially if your skin is acne prone, you don't want to add any more bacteria or germs to your face because that can, of course, cause acne. So first things first, we like to wash our hands around here. Let's get into the routine. I use this cleanser right here. I'm covering up the label because it is a prescription cleanser. So it has like my address, my medical information, my doctor, all that kind of stuff right here. So, you know, y'all don't need to know all that. Y'all don't need to know all that. But essentially, this is the cleanser that I use in the morning. It is called Plexion and it is a sodium sulfactamide and sulfur cleanse this is a really good cleanser because it works as an antibacterial so it kills and gets rid of all the bacteria or a lot of that bacteria that's on your face and we know that bacteria plus oil creates pimples essentially all right so i like to wet my face first and then i just do a few pumps of this until i have a good amount in my hands and I just wash my face. I like to wash my face for a good 60 seconds to two minutes. I just like to go in circular motions around my entire face. You can't forget your chin as well because I get breakouts on my chin or I used to get breakouts on my chin. So I like to make sure I'm getting any areas that I know are prone to breakouts. So I always just like to pat my face dry with a clean paper towel. And now my face is all clean. Let's get into the topical treatments that I use in the morning. The first one that I use is called Acne Gel. This is another semi-prescription drug from my dermatologist. They actually make this in-house and this is what it looks like. It's called acne gel. This is really good because it's an antibacteria and an anti-inflammatory. So as you can see in the morning, my skincare routine is all about antibacteria and killing the germs and getting rid of any oil or like excess oil that causes acne on my skin. So with this, the Dapsone is another antibacteria. So it works alongside the sulfur sulfactamide cleanser to really get rid of and eliminate all the bacteria that's on my face to minimize the likelihood of acne. Something else I like about this is niacinamide also helps to reduce oil production as well. And again, bacteria plus oil, the perfect sort of like duo, if you will, for the development of acne. So for this, I just take a couple of pumps, maybe like one and a half pumps and I just distribute this all over my face. You can do this when your face is a little damp. So essentially I just kind of like rub it all over my skin and then kind of use the padding motion to get it all in there. So of course I have dark marks. Whenever you get pimples, you're gonna get a dark mark. Honestly, even when I don't pick my pimples or I don't touch them, I don't pop them, anything, it doesn't matter. I'm still gonna get a dark mark. It takes a long time for dark marks and acne scars to go away. So treating it twice a day as opposed to just once a day really helps with kind of speeding that process up. So this is what I use morning and night to help reduce some of the dark marks on my skin and really brighten those up and also help to prevent new dark marks from coming whenever I get a new pimple, which is very rarely nowadays, really only during that time of the month. It's called Dermanu, this is what it looks like, and it has kojic acid and a couple other acids in here that really help with brightening up 
dark marks and acne scars. Typically this does have a pump. For some reason, this bottle, the pump don't be working. So I just have to open it up like this and just grab like a pea size amount. Sometimes I get a little more than a pea size amount because I be trying to speed this up. Like dark marks go away. But anyways, I take about a pea size amount of my Dermanu and I just distribute that all over my face as well. So those are the two topical treatments that I use in the morning. And then after that, I seal it all in with my moisturizer. This is my everyday moisturizer. It's just tried and true. It doesn't fail. It's simple. It's moisturizing. It doesn't clog my pores. It has a thin consistency, but it's still very moisturizing at the same time. And this is something I'm sure everyone has seen at this point. It's the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion for normal to dry skin. I even used this when I was on Accutane. Sometimes I did have to graduate up to the actual like thicker cream because my skin was so dry, but sometimes I could get away with just using this. So I just do like one pump of that and I just distribute it again to my full face and my chin as well. Last but not least, can't forget sunscreen. I will never not use this sunscreen. I mean, it has never failed me. I have tried other sunscreens in the past. However, this is just, this is it for me. Like I've used this probably ever since I was 12, 13, 14 years old, ever since I've been going to the dermatologist, ever since I started struggling with acne and started getting on an acne routine, this has been a part of my routine and again, it has never failed me. This is the L to MD UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46. This is what it looks like. And it is specifically formulated for skin types prone to acne, rosacea, and hyperpigmentation. And I have struggled with two out of the three. So I love this stuff. I know they say you're supposed to use two like fingerfuls, maybe that's just too much for me. And also this stuff is not cheap. So I don't use the whole like two finger method. Girl, I just pump some in my hand about that much. Maybe it's enough, maybe it's not. Also, I will say this stuff definitely does rub into my skin very well, but unless it's like a clear sunscreen, it's gonna leave a white cast and I don't really like that. So I don't use like the full two fingers because I will most certainly have a white cast if I use that much sunscreen. Last but not least, I have to moisturize my lips because they be real crusty after I do my skincare routine. So I just like to go in with a little bit of Aquaphor. I don't only use this as my only lip moisturizer now. However, when I was getting active breakouts, legit like one to two every couple of days and my acne breakouts were like way more active, this was all I used just because like I did not want anything to impact or interfere with my skincare regimen and I didn't want anything that could potentially clog my pores. So I just stuck to good old Aquaphor because I mean, it, it never fails. It doesn't clog your pores and it's just like good for the skin and like good moisturization for the lips. So that's really it for my skincare routine in the morning. As you can see, my skin has a beautiful glow to it. Even though I do still struggle with hyperpigmentation and dark marks and a lot of acne scarring from when I was getting active breakouts, you can just see that my skin is so like healthy, it's glowing, it's smooth, there's no texture, and it just, you can tell that it's healthy. You'll also notice that I don't use an eye cream for the same exact reason that I really only used my Aquaphor during the time when I was getting active breakouts. When you're trying to stop active breakouts, you want to keep your routine as simple as possible. Literally, 
cleanse, treat, moisturize, sunscreen, that's it. Literally, that's it. Whatever your dermatologist, esthetician, professional, whoever it is that you go to, whatever the regimen is that they set for you, stick to that. No extra stuff, no fancy stuff. It's about keeping it simple and getting your skin back to a place of just like neutrality. So I'm gonna stop my little spiel now and go about my day and I will see y'all this evening for my nighttime skincare routine. Welcome back to my bathroom. It is currently nighttime. It is 10.02 p.m. I'm about to do my nighttime skincare routine. So let's get into it. First things first, I need to wash my hands. So I'm just gonna take some soap. Any soap will do. All right, my hands are nice and clean. Um, I do have a little bit of makeup on my skin just a little bit of concealer and some blush so not too much but i'm gonna need to take this off so for my makeup remover i use this product right here this is the CeraVe makeup removing cleansing balm looks just like this i like this a lot you can also use almond oil which looks like this right here honestly any almond oil at all you can use i typically use one or the other when it comes to removing my makeup so i can vouch that if you have acne prone skin these for the most part should work for you i'm gonna take about this much and just rub it all over my face and it will start to loosen up my makeup after I finish rinsing that off my face, I like to take a warm washcloth and literally just wipe any excess makeup off my skin. I shouldn't have too much today, but as you can see, I definitely still have some on my face. So that's why I like to use a washcloth instead of a paper towel. And you wanna make sure that you're getting your hairline really well, especially if you use like makeup or edge control because any leftover makeup, edge control, buildup, anything like that can cause forehead acne. And we don't do forehead acne. We don't do any acne, okay? We don't do any acne. Now I don't have any makeup whatsoever on my skin. I've gotten it all off. So now let's get into cleansing. This is probably my favorite cleanser of all time. This is the IS or IS Clinical, IS Clinical, IS Clinical Cleansing Complex. This stuff right here, if you have never tried it, please try it. It will not disappoint. I promise it will not disappoint. This stuff, is gentle but it is so effective it has salicylic acid and also glycolic acid in it so it's like a really light nice gentle exfoliant this cleanser was literally a game changer in my routine it's a professional grade so in my opinion it's a bit more effective than what you might find in like a sephora or a drugstore or something like that it's a little expensive, but in my opinion, it's definitely worth it. And I only use it at night, so it's not like I'm using it twice a day and going through it really, really fast. I'm just gonna wet my face and take a little bit more than a pea-sized amount and cleanse my skin. So I do the same thing as my morning cleanser. I just kind of go in circular motions for about 60 seconds to two minutes just to make sure that the cleanser is penetrating my skin, really getting into my pores and cleansing inside my pores really well. Cleanser is washed off my skin. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing that I did this morning, which is pat dry with a paper towel. And now let's get into treatments that I use at night. First and foremost, this bad boy right here <laughs> as you can see she's been through it look just look just look at how worn she is i mean talk about mvp of my skincare routine of all the products 
if you don't take anything else away from this video, this right here. So this is a Raslo, which is basically Tazeratine, and it is 0.045%. What this is, is just a version of vitamin A. So you can use a Retin-A, you can use a retinoid, you can use whatever kind of vitamin A that floats your boat, but you need a vitamin A treatment, lotion, cream, ointment, whatever you wanna call it in your routine if you have active breakouts that you're really trying to stop. This stuff, I will say, is very strong. I wanna say Tazeratine is one of the strongest versions of vitamin A, and my skin was just that bad. So this is what my dermatologist prescribed me. So I started out using this maybe like once or twice a week and each week I would add a day until I got up to using it every single day. So after about call it six or seven weeks, I was good to use this every single night. But before that, I definitely couldn't because this stuff is very drying to the skin. Vitamin A is essentially a chemical exfoliant, so it's constantly turning over your skin cells so that they're not getting clogged and thus causing inflammation and acne. So for this, you definitely wanna wait until your skin is dry to the touch. Um, you might even wanna wait, like some people say waiting like 10 or 15 minutes. I don't ever wait that long because I don't have the patience but I do wait until my skin is dry to the touch and I take a pea-sized amount which looks like this and I just apply it evenly over my face. So after my vitamin A, my Tazeratine, my Araslo, whatever it is you wanna call it, I go in with my Dermanu. So this is my skin brightening treatment that targets my dark marks, hyperpigmentation, acne scars, and helps to really lighten those up and get rid of those and also prevents new hyperpigmentation from forming whenever I do get a new pimple. All right, so those are the two treatments that I use at night. Then I go in with my moisturizer, same as the morning moisturizer, the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion that looks like this. And distribute that all over my face. And for my lips, I'm gonna go in with my Aquaphor and just moisturize my lips because these things are dry. And yeah, that's really it. So I'm gonna go to bed now. That was it for my morning and nighttime skincare routine. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out and also helps other people to know that this video is helpful if they're struggling with acne or looking for ways to clear their skin. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comment section below. I always try my hardest to answer any questions that I can. However, again, because I'm not a professional, I can't answer every single question because I simply don't have the knowledge. But if I can't answer it, I promise I will try my hardest to answer it. And I will see y'all in my next video. Peace.